mindlessly at this point. Um, yeah, whatever. This... So, like, in the back of my mind, I'm, I'm always gonna, like, secretly just hate this game because of how turbo-dumb I had to make that math in order to get it to work. But, uh... I should get over it. I should get the hell over it, because... Oh, sorry. Um, I should just get over it, because I'm being so boring right now. Uh, uh, I've seen the sidebar. Have you seen the sidebar, Dino King? <laughs> Dino King. Um, so, uh... Yeah, so now, now I guess we could randomly spawn, like, objectives out in the, the wild as well. Uh, so, for example, yeah, let's say, yeah, let's, um, let's put in, uh, so, I guess we could start divvying up our, uh, our different kinds of collectibles, probably, uh, yeah, and what's the best way to do this? I'm no inclined to wonder, because I, I put a lot of thought into the thing that we were doing before, but I, uh, I hadn't thought this this far ahead. Okay, so, uh, no, that's a bad game. Actually, okay, cool. Send over your one, send over one of your projects, and, uh, every time I say whatever, dumb, because, or should, I'll delete a line of code from one of your projects. I like this game. This game sounds fun. Um, <laughs> uh, alright, so, um, uh, blah, 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 blah. yeah, how do we want to set up the, uh, collectibles? I guess, um, I could do it a smart way, but at this point, I think everyone's aware that I'm not, I'm not very interested in doing things smart ways, so I'm just gonna do things the quick way instead. Uh, so, uh, game object, uh, Game object, uh, we'll just have a, a long list of them. Uh, game object, uh, I came back yesterday. <laughs> what are you talking about? I came back instantly. Um, yeah, I had to restart my stream yesterday, and I did, and I came back instantly. I was gone for like maybe a minute. <laughs> so, to answer your question, that's not a valid question. <laughs> um, Uh, thank you for tuning in, though. Syngender Holz, uh, Holz Kubel. Sorry, I should not try and pronounce your last name. Or the second half of your name. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, I don't know. There's not really more explanation than that. That's the entire explanation. No, that's lies. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't offline, so if, if you couldn't see me, I'm guessing the connection was on your end, so. Uh, the connection difficulty was on your end. I guess... Sorry to hear about your connection difficulty, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Alright, so, uh... Uh, C developer, hey, uh, welcome to the stream, thanks for tuning in. Um, we were just about to add, uh, power-ups and, like, collectible stuff. Things, uh, uh... Are you asking me to say that word correctly, or are you asking me to mispronounce that word? Because I could do either. Bratwurst, or... Uh, Browitzit? Brow? I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Take your pick. Um, Alright, so, uh, so yeah, we want game objects. Uh, because we're just gonna do this. Whatever. However, I don't. At this. You all know how I feel at this point. Um, <laughs> so, uh, so, I don't know. Uh, uh, I'll just say collect, I guess, uh, equals, uh, new game objects, uh, max, we probably don't want too many of these, so I'm just gonna say, like, 15-ish or so, I don't know, arbitrary maximum, uh, or, all right, so I'll just, I'll, I'll put in a constant for it, uh, const, uh, oops, uh, const, uh, int, uh, max, collect, uh, equals, uh, uh, 15, 
ish, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I'll probably change that. Uh, max uh, collect. Um, I do have Skype, yes. I don't use it, though. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't tend to use, like, much in Unity, other than, like, the core, like, the fundamentals themselves, so, um, I tend to avoid it because, like, they're not always done in a very optimal fashion, and I usually have a better idea of how I want something done than to use someone else's. So, unfortunately, I have no, I have no help to you, Light Up Man. Um, whoa, why'd everything turn red? Because I forgot a semicolon. Uh, alright, so... Yeah, so the next thing we'll do when we move is, uh, in the case that we did a valid move, we'll check to see if we picked up a collectible, which is a little bit backwards. I mean, technically we should spawn collectibles before we try and pick them up, but whatever. I, I just did random spawning and it got, uh, to be not my favorite thing, so we're going to do it this way instead. <laughs> and this actually is more typical of my implementation style, so. The cart before the horse. Why bother getting a horse if you don't even have a cart yet? Uh, <laughs> so, um, so what is this? Yeah, this is in the case where uh, tar g equaled zero or it equaled one, because these are the these are the scenarios we're in. We're actually traversing, or we could actually be traversing. Uh, no, we we are actually traversing. Yeah, because actually we don't have a, a scenario wherein we don't traverse. Uh, there might be like a tar g equals three scenario. But right now, that's not the case. Um, so, yeah. Wrap turn. Yeah, right. So, oh, yeah. So, that's the whole chunk creation part. Um, so, yeah. So, kind of like how we do check, which kind of how we check for ground, we'll want to check for. Uh, yes, I have Skype. Yes. I don't use it. Um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a little punchy after uh, spending as much time debugging as we just did. But uh, So I apologize for snapping. But I'm going to snap if, if people ask me stuff like that. I apologize. I'll apologize for it. I'll snap and then I'll apologize for it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, so here's the part where we moved. The, the, this, the rest of the part from here on out is, uh, is chunk generation. Uh, Chandler, you're, you're being annoying right now. I'm sorry, but I'm going to call you out on that because I, I would like to try and foster, like, uh, like useful chat. So I, I, I mean, like, what you're inputting is borderline spam, and, like, so you're triggering my, like, moderator instincts. Uh, please don't spam chat. Thank you. Um. <laughs> All right, Don, I look forward to it. Uh, um, so, yeah, here we are. Uh, wow, yeah. That is, that is really, that is really succinct, like, the whole transformation thing, like, there's a lot of calculation that comes after it, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this is basically it, so, alright, so, uh, so now we'll want to, uh, we'll want to check ground, alright, so I guess, yeah, here's where it goes, uh, I'll just put a note, uh, so, uh, check, uh, collect, um, uh, yes, <laughs> I can prove it. I literally have it. See? I don't know. I'm assuming you guys can see this. I literally have it, and I don't use it. So, to answer your question, yes. And that's also... <laughs> yeah. Um, not something I'm going to talk about any further. Uh, so, alright. So, check ground. So, let's do... Uh, yeah. So, in uh, check collect, I guess. Uh, and we need vector 3. Pause. And then, uh, yeah, we're basically going to do something similar. Uh, hey, CP1414! Uh, 
Chandler language. That's Chandler, you're on shaky ground right now because you Please don't spam and please don't use bad language. But uh, hey, CP1414, Vigil Face <laughs> to you as well. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, <laughs> um, Alright, so... Uh, you guys, the chat filter's there for a reason. It's because you're not supposed to be using that language, so... Uh, don't rep... Guys! <laughs> We're in this together, you guys. If, uh, if you guys are, like, constantly freaking out, then, uh, I don't know what you expect me to do. Um, <laughs> I mean, actually, no, the answer to that is I moderate, so, like, if you really want me, if you really want me to moderate you guys, then I will moderate you guys as needed. But I don't like moderating, so, please don't make me. Uh, yeah, so, same thing as before, uh, we're basically going to, uh, we're, we're gonna do something similar, except, uh, one thing we're going to return i because this time it actually matters what um what collection what collecty thing that we what uh what collecty thing we got um and then uh is the rest of this legit the rest of this might be legit actually yeah which works for me so uh uh <laughs> what would be an example of a swear word in a programming language uh, while is kind of like a swear word, I think of it that way, because it's really easy to, to get into a, uh, a hang, or a, a, a hard lock, if you misuse a while loop. Uh, <laughs> um, so, oh yeah, the other thing, right, we have to, okay, we do have to make one slight change to this, we have to change it to max collect, and we need to change it to collect. Because uh, we don't care about grounds anymore. Uh, we need to do this for all the instances. Of et cetera. Wow, what's... Alright. <laughs> for all the instances of grounds, of which there are many. Why is my computer running so unimpressively lately? Oh, stop. Come on, just work like a normal computer. Thank you. Okay, it worked. I asked for it, and it worked. Uh, Alright, so, um, <laughs> is this the song? Is this the fan song? <laughs> Thank you, Don. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Regathian's got it. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, alright, so now we can check collect. There, again, there won't be any collections yet, but we can still, uh, we can, so we can say, uh, uh, int, uh, cl equals, uh, check collect, uh, check, check, collect, what is your problem now? <laughs> uh, pause, or dust. I guess, I mean, technically it's not our destination anymore because we just moved to it, but it's still the same value, so. Um. Alright, so I, uh, I apologize. I have to, um, I have to take a super quick break just to refill my water bottle again because I, I was sick last week and I really don't want to get sick again, so I'm being very, uh, very, uh, careful to stay hydrated. So I'll be right back. Sorry for the delay. I'm almost back there, yes, right. Sorry.
Speaking of delicious things to make it so that I don't uh, dehydrate, I'm also going to have a snack of some tomato juice. I hope you don't mind. Uh, just a light snack. Uh, oh, what did I miss while I was gone? Oh, what? I don't understand what's happening. I'm kind of into it though. <laughs> Alright, I like it. Um, <laughs> yeah, go to's are really cheap and easy, but, um, they're like, they're also jank and hacky, <laughs> I guess, is how I might describe that. Yeah, no, the, uh, in comparison to them as a, as the, um, swear words of coding is really apt. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what was it doing? Uh, right, so collectibles. Uh, so yeah, we, that was, that was easy. We had, like, most of the, uh, stuff that we had to set up. Uh, so yeah, so the one thing we, so now, okay, so, yeah, I, I know I could be doing this in a better way, but I'm just gonna do it this way. We're also gonna keep track of, um, of, uh, int, uh, there are a few th objectionable things you might find about this, uh, so int, uh, collect type, um, will equal new, uh, int, <laughs> uh, max collect, uh, so this will be just like indexed together, and um, we're just gonna keep track of the type. I'm not gonna set up an enum. If I if I was working with other people, I would actually set up an enum. But for me, I'm just gonna use the integer. <laughs> Cause whatever. Um. <laughs> um. So, uh, yeah, what, uh, right, so now I guess we could actually, like, spawn collectibles, because that'd be a cool thing to do, and then once we spawn collectibles, uh, we could actually care about what type they were, and, w and what effect they might have, um, so, uh, <laughs> get on later, man, um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is the part where we, um, like apply uh, collectible. Uh, oh yeah, so when we're spawning collectibles, we'll, we'll want not to. Um, we'll want it so that they don't occupy the same space of a collectible that already exists. So we'll uh, we'll check that to make sure that that the space is free using check collectible before we spawn it. Um, so. Uh, Yeah, what do we, uh, yeah, so when we're generating chunks now, I guess we can just kind of, maybe, yeah, maybe like one per chunk, for starters. And then like on a freak chance, maybe you get two. Let's just try putting one per, per chunk for now. Um, so yeah, we need a collectible. We'll just rescue people, for starters. Is I think the same system will rescue, like, it will be for rescuing people, for gathering resources, for getting power-ups, but, um, yeah, for starters, let's just make it so that you rescue people. And maybe we'll only have one collectible type, and maybe each time you rescue a person, you get stronger, and everything happens based on just that. Uh, I'm trying to finish this project today, so, uh, that would be convenient if we could do that. Uh, let's find out. So, uh... I guess we need like a person prefab, I guess. Should we use the workman or the civilian? I guess it doesn't really matter. Workman or civilian. Uh, I guess workman, I guess. Because why not? Arbitrary arbitrary decision here. Uh, so workman uh, is going to be a... Uh, are you... Yeah, you're... Oh, you're slightly rotated, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to give you a shell game object. Uh, so person, 
Uh, prefab. Uh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this game. <laughs> We can put this game on on Steam Greenlight, but uh, I don't actually. I don't know if we can. We could try. I don't know what like. I've never done that before, so I don't know how that all goes. Oh, whoops. Uh, before I do that, um, person prefab reset, transform, and then workman onto let's zero zero out your position values. All right, so uh, yeah. All right, so uh, oh, do you mean the um, the tower? I think this tower was loosely based on my mustache, although this the tower mustache has like the little pointy, the little pointy uppy part at the sides. Uh, so all right, so we have a person prefab, right? So now let's add this to our uh, bag o tricks. Oh yeah, I put um I have an assets folder inside my assets folder. That's impressive. How'd that get there? Uh oh I think I was gonna clean up my assets folder at some point. Uh I guess by dumping everything in a sub assets folder. Uh what was I gonna put all there? Yeah, like all this stuff. Um all the stuff that's not like the actual game objects themselves. Uh, uh, Alright, sorry, just cleaning up a little bit, because it's, it's just, uh, just getting a little clump, cluttery. Uh, okay, so, uh, person prefab, cool. Uh, now, uh, yeah, so th when we spawn a collectible, <laughs> it'll be a person. And so the rationale there is that, um, I don't know, it's just weird naming convention, I guess. I don't have an ex I'm not going to make an excuse for it. <laughs> so, uh, alright, so now, uh, yeah, so now, kind of like what we're, so during, um, chunk creation, we're creating flows, et cetera, et cetera, so now, um, so I guess the next thing to do is to, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, sorry, um, just getting distracted by chat, uh, so, yeah, so, uh, I guess, yeah, no, so now we'll, we'll want a, a, a way to, uh, create, uh, collectible too, so void, uh, create, uh, collectible, uh, what do we need for this, I guess just, uh, just the, CXCZ for um, for the chunk, and then uh, and then we'll just kind of like with uh, with creating flow, we'll just stick it in there in a random location. Oh, actually, maybe we should. Uh, well, we should, we probably shouldn't put these things out in um, by these things. I mean, uh, we probably shouldn't put uh, put um, collectibles out into lava, we should actually put them on top of ground, so, so maybe I should do it during flow creation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nah. hmm. Hmm. <laughs> um, I guess I could turn create flow into an int. And uh, instead of breaking, I can just return i, and then uh, so then I can just say uh, yeah. I guess this works. Uh, I can just say uh, so. Int uh, uh, ground uh, or. GRD, GD, no, G, GR, uh, excuse me, equals, uh, uh, yes, I believe you are correct, Light Up Man. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you would know that, wouldn't you, though? 
Um, all right, so gr equals whatever G in gr. So uh, gr equals create flow. So this is actually only, I mean, it'll get set several times, but we only actually care about the last one. And um, so actually, yeah, so I guess for creating collectible, it's uh, it's not uh, cx and, C and and CZ, it's uh, GX and GZ, because we'll, we'll, we'll go by uh, the ground coordinate. Um, oh, eh, which will be slightly weird, but whatever. Should work well enough. Um, so, yeah, the positioning is going to be slightly weird, because now, well, so now the, um, the collectible will always be the same scale, so we don't have to worry about that aspect of it, but we do have to uh, care now about the scale of the ground that we're working on, so... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, right, so no, it's not GX and GZ, it's just, uh, it's just GI. Because uh, grounds go by, just by a simple, single, blah, 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 a simple index instead of uh, any sort of coordinate. So, um... So... Oh, but now grounds can overlap, so maybe... No, I'm, I'm right. Okay, so yeah, grounds can overlap, but um, I'm going to check to make sure that the collectibles themselves don't overlap. Okay, so yeah, I already, I already talked myself through that. Uh, so that should work out okay. Uh, yeah, and there, there are things we can do in case they try and overlap. Anyways, uh, so right, so create collect. Uh, uh, for uh, in. Uh, int i equals zero, uh, i less than max uh, collect. Autocomplete is the weirdest thing in uh, Monodevelop. <laughs> sometimes it's like, sometimes it's like so aggressive that it like forces itself on you, and then sometimes it just, uh, just sometimes it just doesn't show up like barely at all, or sometimes it shows up, but it only gives you like weird and useless things. <laughs> I have no clue what that's supposed to be. Um, all right, so uh, if, um, if uh, collect, what about it? <laughs> What's up, Don? Okay. What's up, Don? Uh, if collect i uh, not equals, or no, if collect i equals null, then we have room for it. Uh, so last thing we'll do is uh, break uh, I don't understand that I don't understand that statement. <laughs> Too long for the chat. Interesting. Uh, Hey, boss mess. <laughs> well, yeah, it's about that time of year, right? Well, uh, have a good time doing yard work. I, uh, <laughs> maybe I'll see you again uh, sometime soon. Uh, thank you for popping in. Uh, did you just space out the word Dorito? I don't know why you spaced out the word Dorito. Dorito is not in the chat filter. You're allowed to say Dorito. Oh, it is a brand name, though, and I try not to say those on stream. Anyways. Uh, Alright, so... Um, hmm. Alright, yeah, so we're spawning this collectible. We'll choose a random position, kind of like we did before when creating flows. Um, oh, actually, though... Yeah, no, this is, this is going to be a bit different, though. Right, yeah, so the difference is going to be that, um, oh, interesting. So, yeah, let's do this one slightly differently. Let's, uh, let's say, uh, well, I can start out similarly. All right, so vector three, so yeah, instead of chunk radius this time, it's, um, it's, uh, let's say round, uh, math f, uh, dot round to int, um, hold on, I'm going to space out these terms, because I know it's going to run on to the next line, uh, 
Uh, math round to int. Uh, grounds uh, gi dot transform dot local scale dot x. Yeah. Uh, times grid size. Is that correct? No, not times grid size. Oh. Well, actually, so maybe I should do uh, local scale x divided by 2. Maybe I should do floor, actually. Floor to end. We'll see. Uh, yeah, and so we also have to do this for uh, for the uh, the z coordinate. So chunk radius is replaced by the z coordinate here. Yeah, is that correct? We'll see. Um, whoa. <laughs> I wish I got paid for saying brand names. I'd say brand names all the time. <laughs> um. Um. Sorry. <laughs> I was just uh, I was just reading Boston Mass's nice comment, and it made me smile. Um. Why don't you like PS4? Maybe I'll have a go at you. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. But why don't you like PS4? Um, Alright, so... We have our position. We need to... I don't think we need a modulo this time, right? Do we? Let me think. Yeah, no, we do. Yeah, we need to do the modulo thing again. Uh, so, uh, again, though, this time it's not, it's based on, um, it's based on transform local scale Z. Huh. Oh, wait, local scale can't be, yeah, local scale is always going to be, uh, an even number because the, because of the grid size. Well, I don't know. Were you were you just like randomly like hating on PS4 uh, for without any particular reason? Cause like that's I don't know. Don't do that. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. If you, like, legit hate something, and someone else calls you out for it, like, I don't know. Hate is, hate is bad, you guys. And I, I'm not, I just didn't say that, like, I'm, like, I probably say that I hate things. I probably said today that I've hated something. Did I say that when I was, like, frustrated at Monodevelop? But, uh, you literally just said you hate next-gen consoles. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, Alright, so, uh, so yeah, so, yeah, so we're gonna go by, uh, yeah, alright, so, I'm just gonna say, um, <laughs> uh, so we'll have uh, G, GSX, uh, so in, in GSX uh, equals uh, uh, math F, math F, uh, dot round to int, because uh, the, uh, the local scale is float, I think it's a float value, uh, so we, it's, to, to deal with it as an integer, we want to uh, turn it into an integer, so uh, yeah, so now we can have, now we have gsx to, 
to work with, and GSX will return again. So, oh wait, actually no, no, actually no. Yeah, we can just say um, divide by two up front, so, and then we can get rid of all the division by two. Um, because each time we want to use it, we'll actually be using the uh, the half diversion. <laughs> What? All right, that's all right. Um, <laughs> that's yeah. I don't understand it, but I guess that's your opinion to have. Uh, I, cause I mean, like, I'm more of a PC person than a, a next gen, or than like a console person myself. Like, I had an Xbox One, and I just gave it to a friend, cause I did. I never used it. But I also never think about it very much. And, like, if someone brought it up in conversation, I wouldn't say I, like, hate it, or I wouldn't, like, go out of my way to express dislike for it. Because, um, like, why ruin other people's fun? Uh, oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to mispronounce your name again. But, um, she, she mouse ja or ski mouse ja ski mouse I'm sorry. Um... Uh, I'm hoping to finish this today, and I'm, I'm, I'm planning, I, like, I don't have anything really to do for the next, like, uh, eight or so hours, so I'm hoping to finish this in the next eight or so hours, um, it's, uh, 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 yeah, so we might finish this today. Um, just to, as an aside, well, I apologize for mispronouncing your name. I mispronounce a lot of names, and I mispronounce a lot of stuff in general, so if anyone has a, um, I take, re I take requests for mispronunciation, so if anyone wants to hear me mispronounce something, just feel free to ask for it in chat, and I will mispronounce anything you would care to hear. Again, I'm sorry for mispronouncing your name. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um... Uh, sorry, I was just looking at the link. Someone tried to post a link in chat. It didn't actually show up, right? Because links in chat get filtered out, right? Yeah. Yeah, links get deleted. Um, it was just a link to an article about a game I don't care for. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Sometimes I try and help links, um, survive, unless I don't care about the link, in which case I just let it get deleted. Uh, <laughs> Which is kind of why I put it there, because I don't like, uh, or wh why I kind of put that filter in place, is because, uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm a child. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm just laughing at dumb things. Uh, yeah, the, the reason I put that filter in place is so I don't have to, uh, worry about what people post in chat. Because some people were posting inappropriate things in chat. Womp womp. Uh, alright, so, uh, yeah, here we go. Um, yeah, we, we kind of have to do the same thing. We have to do something very similar to what we were doing before, except uh, with a... Uh, so with, we're doing something similar to what we were doing when creating flows, except now the uh, the difference does not uh, depend on um, the object we're placing. It depends on the object, the size of the object we're placing it on. Uh, so I might have to tweak this math a little bit, but uh, I, think we're, I think we're in the right uh, ballpark with this. So collect uh, i equals uh, instantiate... Uh, uh, oh, wait, hold on, uh, I need, uh, yeah, I need to do this thing, but for, uh, oh, yeah, no, I, oh, awkward, I need to do this thing, but for, uh, for down here, so pause plus equals, uh, not chunks, uh, this time it's grounds, and it's index gi, uh, GI and this transform position and this new, uh, yeah, this is slightly clunky. Uh, oh no, we have GSX and GSY, so yeah, that works. All right, so uh, or no minus. Oh, and it's not GSY, it's GSZ. Uh, whoops. <laughs> All right, so I'll have to change that. Uh, I get tripped up on that a lot. I don't know why. Uh, all right, so no GSZ, GSZ, GSZ. Z. All right. Uh, cool. And then we're good again. Maybe once I finish this statement, I guess. Uh, all right. So instantiate. Uh, oh, person prefab. 
I don't think I made that a real thing yet. Uh, person prefab uh, located at position for pause, and then uh, person prefab uh, prefab dot uh, uh, transform uh, transform dot rotation. Uh, all right. Oh, as game objects. Yeah. All right. So person prefab is not a thing yet. So I need to make person prefab a thing. Uh, so, my other prefabs, uh, public, uh, game object, uh, uh, person, uh, prefab, and let's set that so it doesn't give us weird errors. Uh, no? What should I do? What? Oh god, what did I do? Oh no, I must have done... No, what did I do? Come on. Did I forget? No, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Don't tell me I somehow messed up create flow. No, you're lying to me. You're lying. There's no error. Now I'll code pass return a val- Oh, yeah, sure, right. Right, okay, so yeah, so no. Yeah, right, because I changed- okay. I was worried for a second there. I should I should learn to read my errors before just doing whatever. All right. So if if nothing happens, then we'll return negative one. Uh, and I'll have to remember to uh, to screen for that. Uh, all right. So let's see let's see if anything works though. Uh, all right. So well, I guess we can. No, it does not work yet. Not yet. Because it's still not getting called. I forget if it actually started calling it anyway. Uh, probably not. Uh, which I guess would explain that. Okay, right, so uh, creating flow. Okay, so for, okay, yeah. So all right, yeah. So no, all right. No, we, no, we actually have to call it. So if uh, gr, yeah. So for so like we just set up, gr could equal negative one. So let's say not, if it not equals negative one, then it equals a valid flow. The index of a valid flow. So we can. Uh, uh, we can say uh, uh, create uh, collect uh, no create collect. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let it go. Unfortunately, hold on. Let me look up the lyrics. I'll, I'll see what I can do for you. Uh, uh. <laughs> Wait, no, not the Demi Lovato version. The Dina Menzel version, of course. Uh, Russ Jr., hey, welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't think Let It Go is in my vocal range, unfortunately. So I actually can't, I don't think. Uh, I would otherwise, sorry. <laughs> That's probably a lie. I probably wouldn't, even if it was in my vocal range. Whoop. Uh, anyways, uh, alright, so... All right, let's see if this works. Uh, yeah, welcome to Stream Rust Jr. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, next time I uh, next time I encounter a really bad um, what? What are you complaining about? Oh, mm. all right. Uh, equals uh, negative one. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, yeah, maybe next time I get hung up on, like, really bad debugging crump, I'll, uh, I feel like we should have seen the thing spawn. Oh, I, d I never set the, uh, person prefab. Yep. Never remember to do that. Basically never remember to do that. Alright, so now, how about this? Uh, yeah, so if I, if I, if I, if I, if debugging goes, or if I, like, get stuck on, like, a really annoying bug, and I eventually have to just move past it, maybe then I'll give, let it go another shot. Alright, yeah, why isn't it not, now is it, why, now why is it not spawning? Because now it should, uh, I guess, uh, let's try printing gr to see if it's not getting set correctly. I mean, it, it should be getting set correctly, because it, um, it, uh, like the flows are all showing up, okay. 
And yet that didn't print. How did that not print? Oh, right, because the original setup, blah, 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 blah. All right. I should just I should just unify this so that I keep, so I stop getting, like, thrown off by it, I think, probably. Probably the thing to do there. Yeah. All right, so, uh, uh, all right, so, yeah, so, um, so CXCZ, uh, uh, vector three, uh, pause. Uh, is going to be a thing, and then so instead of uh, chunks one one transform position, we're going to use pause. Uh, uh, save that. Find all the references to. Yeah, so in these references we have to use. Uh, oh, that thing that I just deleted. What was it? Was that thing? This yeah. Uh, pause. All right. So now for all of these cases, we have to plug this back in. Uh, but then for the for the other case where we'd be using it, we have to use a different value instead. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, huh? Interesting. So, uh, so yeah, a lot of this stuff I won't want to do for um, for the original chunk one one. So, that's interesting. Uh, that was interesting to me, which is why I said interesting. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right, so save that, and then, uh, yeah, so now we can... So now, in the original setup, when we're setting up our, our initial batches of chunks, we can use chunk... Uh, we can use uh, the, the, the other system that, we have, that we're setting up there. All right, so we can go uh, uh, create uh, chunk... Uh, I Z I or I X I Z, and then uh, this is the position. So that was the difference before because we, we didn't have that as a parameter. So we can change it uh, in the situation where we want to be one thing or the other. Um. <laughs> yeah, I haven't used uh, tags in Unity before. I uh, I've heard about them though. Maybe I should. I probably should. I probably a lot of the stuff that I do would uh would be a lot easier if I use tags. So I should look like I should look into that. I am a million years old. I turned I turned a million this year. It was really difficult. I uh I went okay by the way. Well, uh, welcome, thank you for tuning in. Yeah, I turned a million years old this year. It was, uh, my birthday is July 31st, and, uh, it was tough, because it was one of those things, like, I, would, I mean, I was, like, I was just, uh, 999,999, so I knew it was coming, but, uh, yeah, no, this was the, this is the year that I, I turned the big one mil, so, uh, yeah, so now I drink this to, um, this is, I drink this to, to keep young, because, uh, it's the only thing that, like if when you're a million years old, you you need to you need to stay young somehow, and like maybe maybe you're not gonna love it. Maybe you're gonna feel bad about what you have to do to stay young, but it's what you gotta do to stay young. So. How old do you think I am? <laughs> How old do I look? Is my is my uh, is my youth uh? my secret to youth, uh, working. <laughs> um, oh yeah, wait, oh wait, so there's a case that I don't want to do this. Uh, if, <laughs> if I, <laughs> this is the dumbest for loop, because if I x equals one, uh, and, uh, I z, uh, equals one, then we're not going to do this. Oh yeah, so, Wait, so what do I want to say? I want to say not equals 1. So as long as they're both not equals 1. Wait. If if ix not equals 1 and iz not equals 1. Oh, no, that's not it. If, uh... If... No, I, I want to negate the whole thing. So if, uh... If not... Uh... So not... 
IX equals 1 and IZ equals 1. <laughs> I just want to skip that one. And then the rest are legit. Uh, oh, thank you, Mint Arcade. <laughs> that's the nicest thing that, that someone has said in a while. Actually, no, I lied. Um, uh, can I call you Mouse? Uh, I don't know what you're... I don't... I, I, I need something that I can call you because I'm going to mispronounce your name every time. Uh, she Mouse... Or ski mouse chat. Um, thank you. <laughs> That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said. <laughs> oh yeah, light up man did. <laughs> so thank you. I um yeah, let's go with that. I'm 24. If anyone asks what my age is, I'm gonna send them to you guys, and you guys, you guys will back me up, right? I'm totally 24, right? <laughs> um. <laughs> It'd be cool if I was, uh, it'd be cool if I was 24, and, like, all those, all those years that, since the last time I remember being 24 was just a strange dream I had last night. That'd be really weird. I don't know how I, I can explain where I am presently, in terms of, like, physical locality. Because if this isn't the, uh, place that I moved to, uh, at, at a certain time point between then and now, I, um... I must have just broken into some stranger's home and, <laughs> and, started, and started just streaming from their uh, <laughs> from their bedroom, which would be a little weird, uh, <laughs> arguably. <laughs> All right, I still need to create chunk one, one, and it's gonna be simple. Uh, it's gonna be really simple, actually. It's just gonna be this. Oh no, not that. It's uh, <laughs> it's just gonna be uh, it's just gonna be this. Uh, oh, and yeah, I'll put it in the bucket too, because there's not gonna be any fire, and there's not gonna be. Uh, oh, I do need to create the fire grid though. All right, so so it's just these. All right. Uh, so I still need to do that. All right. Uh, so chunks, uh, uh, so chunk one one is the one that we're dealing with here, and it's going to be at position uh, new vector three. Actually, I can just put it at transform that position. Same diff. Uh, so then chunks, yeah, one chunk one one. Put it in the bucket because why not? It wouldn't be so bad if we didn't, but whatever. Might as well. Uh, and then chunk one one. Or fire grade one one. We'll create new. Alright, uh, cool. I think this should work now. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, person whose name I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> Is it, could you, could you at least tell me, is it, is it a hard SCH or is it a soft, is it a hard CH or is it a soft CH? Is it like she or is it like ski? Could I, cause I, I don't know. I can't even get, I can't even pronounce the first several consonants of your name, which makes me, <laughs> so I can't even like, uh, I can't even give a nickname until, <laughs> until I know how to do that. If you, I don't know, is it, <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll just get by, and I'll just get really awkward every time I have to say your name. <laughs> um, all right, so I think we're creating a. I think we're creating our map initially correctly now. Uh, so let's see what weird errors we get this time. All right, well that's an example of a weird error. Uh, why did we get that weird error? It's like it. What is its problem? What on earth is happening? What are these alleged null reference exceptions? Uh, fire grid? Lies. Oh no, chunks. Bucket? Lies. 
They screw up, uh... No, that's a, that's, that's the correct loop. Uh... So... I don't... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, she, okay. <laughs> so, I'll say she, mouse. She, she, so then the last one, is the last one also soft, or is it, is the, is it she, mouse, cha, or is she, mouse, ka, or she, mouse, cha, uh, she, mouse, she, mouse, cha. I don't know. I'll, maybe I'll just say something like that, and then hopefully it'll be close enough. And I apologize for mispronouncing your name. Um. <laughs> um. All right. So. Uh, hmm. Uh. So. Um. Yeah. What the heck? <laughs> what? Um. Why does it think? Like, why is it trying to reference something that would be invalid? CX. Dot transfer. Oh, yeah, so that's an example of a, a thing that's not correct. How did that not cause errors previously? I'm impressed. Maybe it's just because I kept going moving downwards wow yeah how did that i don't know how that air got there i don't know where it came from i don't know what it, where it's going but uh yeah that was definitely an error all right and then does the rest of the stuff work correctly look at that hey look there are little collectibles around all right and i think i can go collect them i forget did i make it so i can actually collect them oh well they're off center so i can't collect them is the answer Oh, please tell me they're all off-center. Please tell me it's not one of those weird things again where some of them are off-center. All right, good. They're all off-center. Thank goodness. All right, so I just need to change the... just need to fix the math. Wait, what? How come... Why are there random ones, like, floating off in space? Oh, because I'm not parenting them correctly? I'm probably not parenting them correctly. Right? I'm creating collectible, but I'm not... Yeah. All right, so... Uh, excuse me. Uh, collect uh, I dot transform dot parent uh, uh, equals ground grounds gi uh, dot parent so this way uh, or dot transform excuse me uh, so this way the the collectibles will be on the chunks so when the or will they'll be on the ground section so when the grounds get destroyed uh, the they will get cleaned up automatically uh, Uh, alright, save that. Oop, oh, not that. <laughs> save that, and, uh, and try it again. Oh yeah, and I, I also need to fix the positioning, right? Because we just, as we discovered, the, uh, collectibles were all slightly off-center. Or at least the... Oh, gosh! Are you just slightly off-center? Are you off-center only by one axis, or are you off-center in both? You're off-center only by one axis? How dare you! You jerk. No, you're supposed to be off center by both axes, right? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be off center by both axes. 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 Alright, well, let's continue our investigation up here. Yeah, because this dude's offset by both axes. Axes. So, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably really good advice in a decade. <laughs> I can uh, I can use that if I ever get stuck trying to mispronounce something. Um. All right. Uh. So. Yeah. What uh? What the heck? Grid. I mean, this is like shades of the thing that we were seeing before, right? Uh, where, like, it was correct some of the time and incorrect some of the time. So what 
what the what the what is I guess all I can really ask right now. Uh, I should I don't know if I get away from the fire. Uh, alright. See, and now this one's correct on this axis. So, all right. Well, let's see. Let's see what chunk. Uh, what are the coordinates of these the chunks that they're they're on? So, you there? No, you there. Uh, workman is on this prefab, and it's incorrect on this dimension. The the so the it's incorrect on the z dimension, but it's correct on the x dimension. All right, so it seems to be incorrect on odd dimensions. Uh, uh, I am... Um, what? Oh. No, could you guys just take that offline? Because that has nothing to do with the, the topic of discussion. You guys... If you guys don't have each other's... I can give you each other's uh, Twitter handles if you need them, because <laughs> you can you can very easily communicate that by other means. Uh, so no, that's not the purpose of uh, of links and chat. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, Minto Kid knows what's up. <laughs> um, uh, so. Uh, uh, right, yeah, all right, so, do we just not need, uh, do we just not need this correction majigger that we have going on? Or no, if anything, we, we would always need the correction majigger. So wait, hold on, let's, uh, let's just try taking out the conditional part of this, and let's see if, does this correct it? If we just always offset it by, by one, does it o just always need to be off, uh, yeah, thank you, Majigger. Uh, does it, o does it just oh oh yeah and I can take out that print because uh, we figured out what was going on there. Uh, get rid of that. All right. Uh, so uh, yeah. Now let's see if the little duders are still offset or if they're now collectible. Because if they're offset like at all, they become uncollectible, which is unfortunate. Yeah, look at that. Oh, well, we didn't collect it, but we did. At least it's on grid. All right, let's see, uh, let's see if, uh, yep, all right, good. They seem to be on grid now. So that was funny. Anyways, uh, all right, well, we can clean up what we're doing here, because now, uh, now we can just say, uh, we can just say plus one to both of these, uh, instead of having that whole separate addition operation and whatever. All right, so that's actually simpler. I don't know exactly why. Uh, Trent Sterling, hey, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're uh, so we added in uh, we added in land chunks, and so now when when you play the game, uh, you actually get randomly distributed uh, ground that you can walk on. Uh, so you don't always have to walk on lava. You know, you can kind of you be a little more strategic about the course that you take, and then also. We added in, like, uh, right now we have, like, little civilians. You can't collect them yet, but it's going to be... These are going to be the dudes that you can rescue, so... Uh, yeah. Uh... Ooh! I just had an interesting idea. Hmm... I might, I might, uh, <laughs> goat productions, I like it, goats are cool, they eat tin cans and they climb mountains and stuff, I don't know if they actually eat tin cans and climb mountains, that might be, those might be harmful goat stereotypes, if so, I, I apologize to wh whichever goats might be viewing this, uh, stream right now, uh, Alright, so I thought we were setting it up so that you could collect these things. Oh no, you know what's happening is uh, it tells us when, yeah, so we we know when, when we're colliding with it, but um, we're not actually, we're not actually, uh, 
we're not actually doing anything there. So, uh, so I guess one thing we could do is uh, uh, destroy, <laughs> destroy it, uh, destroy collect uh, i or index uh, cl. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so now we can collect them. Although uh, by collecting them, all we're, all that's happening is that we're destroying them. So nothing, uh, no, no no real good comes of it. Uh, but oh wait no, that's supposed to what the heck? Huh. Uh. Hmm. Oh well, actually, so. F Whoa. That should have thrown weird errors, I feel like. That's just throwing lots of weird errors, I feel like. Oh. Well, yeah, so for one thing, this should be negative one. And now it'll throw tons of weird errors. Uh. Yeah, no, I don't mind if you talk off topic, but, um, I'm not gonna, like... I'm not, not going to be, like, your link monkey if you're talking off topic. Yeah, feel free to chat about whatever you want. I just, I, I like, if you have something important, I can repost an important link, but that was, yeah. Uh, we're still figuring this all out. I'm still new to all this stuff, too, so. Uh, it's not like I have, like, a, a, a long write-up of, like, here here's what to do, here's what not to do. So, yeah, I don't, I don't mean to make you feel bad about it, but, um. <laughs> that was almost a spit take. I really can't read chat after I drink. I don't know why I keep doing that. Um, but yeah, no. <laughs> Tags the gate there. <laughs> that is an amazing studio name. <laughs> oh man, that is an amazing studio. <laughs> that is really good. I would work there. <laughs> Let me know if you're accepting applications. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's just top notch. Thank you for that. <laughs> Um, all right, so uh, so yeah, we should be checking if uh, if cl not equals uh, negative one, uh, and then only do things if only do things with cl if it not equals negative one. Uh. <laughs> it's just fun to say, which is perfect. You just it it just immediately communicates that sense of uh, playfulness and. No, I think that's really on point. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> um, Alright, do we... No, I didn't... What? <laughs> Somehow that dude got destroyed, and I didn't even... I did not even... So there's like a magic square that you can stand on to collect these dudes. Uh, I just don't know which one it is. Interesting. So yeah, what's the deal with that? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the deal with that was. I should probably... It'd be nice if this were a little more testable. Or testable with a little more expediency. Uh, hmm. Yeah, why did that, uh, how was I able to collect that guy that one time? Or, like, why did he disappear, I guess? Um. <laughs> yeah, um, I guess one, one link that I am happy to, uh, to send to chat is if people have, like, cool projects that they're working on, like, uh, uh, Mint, 
said it was okay for me to post this yesterday, so I assume it's going to be okay for me to post it again today. Um, Mint just put out a cool project. It was probably the one that, that they were talking about um, trying to get working. Uh, where was it? I know it's in here somewhere. Sorry, I'm on, I'm just on my other computer for a second because uh, I'm looking up... Uh, uh, yeah, so if anyone wants to know what project Mint Arcade and, uh, was it Mint Arcade and Light Up Man we're ta talking about, um, this, this is probably what they were talking about. I wasn't completely paying attention to their, uh, conversation anyways. Uh, <laughs> um, and yeah, so if other people have cool projects that they're working on, I disabled links in chat, but, um, feel free to, uh, tweet it at me, and I'll, uh, I can, I can share it with chat, and, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that is a I think it's just a that is a good <laughs> that is a good question Jonas I guess you, I guess the difference between a D game and a triple D game is if it's really bad like if you really capture like if you so perfectly capture the essence of terrible graphics and the essence of terrible gameplay because like if they're just like if they're just like bad if they're just like not good then like then it's probably just a D game. But if you make them like the the worst, like the the most outstanding bad graphics and the most exceptional bad gameplay, then that's that's really that's when you really get to triple D. Uh, um, oh yeah. So the trick for so this is three D text actually. What we have here, this is three D text. There's a trick to it. Yeah, I don't know why it starts out like that, but um the the trick is that you, uh, uh, so this is, yeah, so this is a 3D text object, and, um, so the trick is you, you scale it way down, so, like, yeah, it starts out as, like, 0, 0, 0, and, like, what, size 10, so it's, like, all cr crugly like that, so the thing is, the trick is you make it a huge font size, so, like, I think we, went, we had it at, what, like, 80, uh, so, yeah, we, we bump it all the way up to 80, and then by scaling it down, it, it starts to get smooth around the edges, so, I don't know why it defaults to being all crugly like that, but, um, yeah, that's the trick to get around it, uh, Jonas. I hope that helps. Uh. <laughs> Every game rating sh from, from here on out should just be hex codes. So, like, I give this game an FFA9BC out of, uh, and then it'll just be an arbitrary scale, so no one really knows exactly what, uh, what are the good ones and what are the bad letters, the good letter number combinations and what are the bad ones. Uh, but it would be, <laughs> it would be very descriptive and there'd be a lot of freedom there. Uh, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I make up adjectives. Uh, <laughs> oh, whoops. Okay. So yeah, Koenig, uh, or Jonas, the, um, the way you get, uh, 3D text to look better is you go, uh, so create other, you better be paying attention this time, because this is the last time. Uh, Alright, so... So wait, we have our 3D... Why is it... Why does it always go weird, dumb places? Alright, so we have our 3D text here, right? Uh, so we want this to look good. Uh, and the way we do that, the way we can approach that is... Um, instead of having to, like, change anything about it, like, in a... a oh, so, Alright, so, so yeah, alright. I'll just show it. So, uh, it's all, like, it's all, like, wonky and, like, blurry and stuff like that. However... It's only like that, um, one thing I noticed working with 3D text is that it's only like that on the small font sizes. Once you bunch, bump it up to, like, uh, font size, like, uh, like, I think it's above 50 or so that it starts to get a lot smoother. So you bump it up to 50, and now it's, like, bigger than you want it to be. But you can just scale it, because it's 3D. So, uh, if you scale it down to, like, 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, oops, uh, yeah, 0 0.3. So then, uh, so now you have, like, text that is, a uh, size that you want it to be just by changing the scale, but it's a lot smoother because it uses a, a bigger font size. So that is the secret secret magical method to getting uh, 3D text to look smooth. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, hold on. So, uh, yeah, I rate this game <laughs> apparently like a greenish color. Is that what I chose? Is that what I said? Oh, no, the... I, I, try, I tried the link light up man, but the link didn't even actually work for me. It just went to the color hex main site. Uh. <laughs> well, so the funny thing about that Mint Arcade is that, um, 
zero 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 is black and FFFF is white. So, like, if you made the darkest, grittiest game of all time, then, like, maybe zero 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 is actually a perfect score. Whereas, like, FFFFFFF, maybe that's, like, the perfect score for, like, a. I don't know, like a kid's game or something? I don't know. I just, like... <laughs> Guzmop has it figured out. <laughs> um, and while I normally don't encourage, like... <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, that, that that was just a that was just a fleeting thought. Why am I? Uh, why does the? What is the deal with uh, with the check collect not working? Collect at transform position dot x. Oh, whoa! Wait, why does this use y? This should be using z. Where are these weird typos coming from? I swear. I have no freaking clue where these weird, weird, just like arbitrary typos are coming from. All right, so. Whoa. I feel like the whole ground system probably wasn't working quite right, but I guess I yeah I guess I just didn't I just hadn't noticed it yet. Oh so no. Uh, Z and then save. All right. Yeah. All right. So that I guess that explains what that was about. Oh, and that I was able to click that one just because it was lo located perfectly on an axis. All right. So that's. That's interesting. All right, uh, so let's go save people now, shall we? Yay, we saved him! <laughs> we saved him by destroying him, but, you know, tough love, I guess. Sometimes it just takes a little... <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta... <laughs> you just gotta save them by consuming them, by consuming their very soul. Uh, all right, so now... Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do my silly idea. I don't know if I necessarily want to. My silly idea was uh, have, have you guys played the game Snake, where like you, you eat apples and the apples make you grow longer? Uh, I swear that's a game. <laughs> um, I was thinking of I was I was thinking of making the citizens like, cause like it's weird to collect them, right? So I was thinking like maybe you um. Maybe they, like, join your party, and, like, they follow you around and stuff. And so maybe that's, like, how you get stronger. By having, like, a bunch of duders with you. Uh, I don't know. I, um... I kind of want to try it. Just because I think I could do it in, an, in a way that's not actually that difficult. Um... I don't know, though. I don't know, that could kind of fire. <laughs> I should probably do something involving, uh... The excuse me, the handling of fire, uh, and these, uh, these little duders, because it's startling to encounter one who's on fire. So they, it probably will be the case, excuse me, that, uh, we don't, we don't light duders on fire. Oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> Uh, I just, I like those, uh, those codes, they just crack me up. Like, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the way you tell if, like, uh, data is, is not initialized. Or, uh, uh, <laughs> alright, um, <laughs> I, I think, I don't know, just cause I'm, a silly person. I think I'm gonna try and uh, I think I'm gonna try the snake thing, real quick. Uh, so uh, so uh, I don't know. Game object, game object. Uh, train. I can get rid of collect type for now because I'm actually not using it yet, and I might skip it altogether. Uh, train train uh, equals new uh, game object. Uh, I guess I should do max train, or I should use max collect again. Uh, same, same value. Maybe I can. I can if I like this and I keep it, I can change it. 
So, uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I um. So uh, some some people I used to work with had like a really funny one that they uh, <laughs> a really funny uh, address that they used for for null pointers and uh, every time they said it it was like it was just one of those things like if you overheard them having serious conversations it was like impossible to take them seriously because. <laughs> Because <laughs> of the funny code that they had. Um. <laughs> uh. Yeah, right, Mint Arcade, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's, uh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try it just because. I don't know, why not? <laughs> um. So, uh. Yeah, alright, so the, where's the part where. Alright, so instead of, uh. Instead of just destroying it, let's, uh. Let's add it to the train instead. Uh. So, uh. Let's say, uh, train, uh, so, yeah, so for, uh, so for, uh, int, uh, int, uh, I, actually, no, we can just say, uh, let's say, uh, train, uh, length, uh, plus plus, uh, collect CL, uh, equals null. Uh, and, uh, 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 train, uh, uh, train length, oh, yeah, it's not a thing yet, uh, train, train length, uh, equals, uh, collect CL. Uh, yeah. Oh, and also... Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's fine for now. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, Jonas, that could be a boss in your game. Do you need me to make a particular facial expression so you can screen cap me as a, as like a particular, I don't know, I take requests, like it, for some reason people had fun like screen, photoshopping my face for a few days, so I started taking requests for, like, facial expressions <laughs> on camera, if you need to screen cap it for whatever. Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't encourage that behavior, but I don't know. Uh, alright, so train length equals, uh, uh, so in, uh, train length, uh, equals zero for starters, and then it'll equal zero again, uh, whenever you warp. And that's also when the train, yeah, so if warp and warp time, uh, so, yeah, let's also do, uh, for, uh, for, uh, int, uh, i equals zero, uh, i less than max, uh, collect, uh, i plus plus, uh, uh, train, actually, I guess we don't need two lines for it, or multiple lines for it, uh, uh, train, uh, I, or destroy, destroy train I. Destroy train I, uh, and also train length equals zero. Uh, equals zero. Oh yeah, so I should also I have to check uh, if uh, I have to make sure that train length doesn't exceed. Uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Uh, All right. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. So if 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 CL Right, so we have to say uh, if uh, train length uh, is less than uh, max uh, collect, then we can do those things that we just said. Otherwise, we have to uh, we have to do something else instead. We have to uh, uh, else we'll just destroy it for now. 
uh, destroy uh, collect seal. Uh, although I guess that actually can't be the case. No, that could, that can totally be the case. Yeah. All right. Anyways. Uh, oh yeah. And so now we're not. So then the yeah. So then the final step is that um, is that. Uh, Now when we move, wait, did I, did I put this the right place? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, right, okay, so, uh, I guess before we do that, then we might as well do for uh, int uh, i equals zero, uh, I less than uh, train length uh, I plus plus uh, oh wait no I have to go no I have to go from the other end I have to go I equals uh, train length minus one uh, minus one I uh, greater than or equal to zero uh, zero I minus minus because we have to go uh, we have to go from the end we have to say uh, if uh, I minus one is greater than or equal to zero uh, then we will say <coughs> something otherwise uh, we will say something else, uh, and the things that we're saying, um, yeah, right, I don't know if you were paying attention, Mint Arcade, but those are exactly the things that I said, you're, you're literally saying back to me the things that I said about 20 minutes ago, <laughs> but maybe you missed that part, <laughs> um, it's this, I'm, I put all my archives up on YouTube, so if you, if you cared to see, uh, <laughs> if you cared to check it out at some point, it should all be up there. Uh, soon, soon enough. Uh, <laughs> but thank you. I great minds think alike. I guess. <laughs> um, uh, all right. So. Uh, uh, so yeah. Um, uh, right. So if 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 I minus one is greater than or equal to zero, that means uh, that uh, train uh, train uh, i dot transform dot position uh, equals uh, train uh, index i minus one dot uh, transform dot position. Uh, yeah. And then otherwise, uh, Oh wait, we actually have to do this before we move. Uh, before we move the hero, because we have to retain the hero's position. Because the other thing we do is, uh, in the other case, uh, we move it to this position here. So, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. No, whatever. We're doing it this way. <laughs> it just occurred to me that there's probably a simpler way to do it. Uh, but whatever we're doing this way. What? 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 What is this? Oh, I never, I never initialized it. No, I initialized it. What were you saying is an old reference exception? Because it's lies. It's all lies. Uh, what? Oh, right. Train length minus one. Oops. Whoops. All right, say that. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah. Hey, look at that. <laughs> oh, no, he's on fire. We'll save you. <laughs> All right, well, that, I think this entertains me. Uh, oh, whoa, what happened there? Didn't like that one.
Maybe it's just my computer acting weird. My computer's making weird humming noise right now. So maybe actually everything's normal. And it's just my computer acting weird. <laughs> uh, well, if it wants to start acting normal again, that'd be... Okay, there we go. You're destroyed. Destroyed? Crazy talk. What? No. No, we're no we're nowhere near maximum train length. Why would it have gotten destroyed? I'll assume that's just because my computer is being done. Let's give it another shot. Rescuing people, rescuing people. Whoa! Oh, no. All right, it just it just legit doesn't like it. So I guess it wasn't because I collected people. It seems like it's because I went too far out of bounds or something. Yeah. What on earth? I swear I'm not trying to tr access anything that would have been destroyed. Because there's nothing that would have been destroyed. Oh yeah, no, there is. Right. I know what's happening. Is that um, when I add them to the train, uh. I'm not unparenting them from their previous uh, fate, so they're just getting straight up destroyed. All right, so uh, yeah, so all right, so the other thing I have to do is uh, train uh, train length uh, dot trans transform dot parent. I would just put them in the bucket equals uh, bucket. Yeah, because they they're just getting yeah when they're when they're home when their home chunk gets destroyed, they they stop existing. Uh, Alright, so... Yay, saving dudes. Saving dudes, saving dudes. Putting out fire, saving dudes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, all right, yeah. So uh, I, this in, this amuses me enough that I'll probably probably stick with it. I should make the maximum train length way longer though. I should make it go on for like basically forever. <laughs> um, I don't think we're gonna do that. I think it's actually just gonna cost energy. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was thinking along those lines. Uh, uh, cause, uh, yeah, nah, I just, yeah, it's probably just gonna cost energy. Cause as per usual, like, uh, the, uh, yeah, that's what, I don't know, that's like how... Uh, that is how, uh, that is how, uh, yeah, the, the fire tends to operate this game. Alright, so yeah, I think I'm gonna, <laughs> uh, huh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not gonna get too super crazy about, uh, about this, I'm gonna make the train longer. I'm gonna make the train like gratuitously long. Uh, so yeah, so uh, con uh, const uh, int uh, max train. Uh, yeah, max train's fine. Uh, equals I don't know like fifty or something. <laughs> that's I think that's gratuitously long. Uh, all right, so now max uh, max train. Uh, and then, yeah, so the other places that we look for, uh, train, we should, uh, I guess we can just find all references. Um, so, yeah, train length, all right, actually, no, I guess, uh, or no, yeah, so, right, uh, right, 
Where is it? Oh yeah, so if, if train length is less than max, excuse me, max train, we do that, and then, uh, yeah. I think the rest are probably fine. Uh, no, dudes aren't gonna die in this game, guys. Uh, if this is not a violent game, no one's going to die in it. Um, so, like, well, I appreciate your input, like, don't bother with that stuff. Like, literally don't bother. Uh, that's, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, that's, like, the one time that I don't even care if you don't add it to chat. Like, don't even bother adding that thing, that stuff to chat. But, um, thank you in general for, like, thinking of stuff and, uh, whatever. <laughs> um... All right, so uh, <coughs> yeah, let's. Um, all right, so yes, yeah, so, so I'm gonna put in a few, uh, a few extra. So after fire spreads, sp fire spreads in in wrap turn. So actually, no, I guess I could just put it in spread fire. So uh, go to declaration. All right, so yeah, when fire spreads, we do all this like checking, checking, checking. Uh, actually, I guess where do we check it for the hero? Uh, oh, yeah. Wait, yeah. Did I do it in wrap turn? Oh, yeah, I did this in wrap turn. So I guess I could just do it here, too. Because why not? Uh, Alright, so... Uh, if... Uh, no, this seems weird. I should just be doing this in, uh, in spread fire. So I think I will just do it in spread fire. Uh, this last thing, uh, <laughs> um, no, colliding with fire is how you put out fires, so I actually did want an animation for that, but, um, I'm probably not going to bother with it, uh, hypothetically, I would want, like, an animation to indicate that the hero has, like, dealt with this fire, but, um, I also don't know how that'll scale, so I, I'm probably not, just not going to worry about it right now. Uh, thank you, though. Uh. Thank you! Yeah! Mint Arcade! You should understand. I don't know. Um, maybe not all of your games are family-friendly, but it's like, why? I don't know. I don't get why people make their games, like, edgy. Just for the sake of making them edgy. It's ridiculous. Like, just make games that are fun. Uh, is my opinion on that. And I'm the one holding the steering wheel on this one, so... It's all your opinions for now, too. <laughs> no, you don't have to agree with me, but um, I don't have to agree with you either. Um, Alright, so the other thing we're going to check, uh, basically the same thing. Uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, basically the same thing as, uh, as before. So, uh, for uh, int... Mm-hmm. For int uh, i equals uh, zero, uh, I actually yeah. So one thing we're we're gonna do is just make sure that the 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 the, the uncollected dudes are um, are not standing in fire. They'll be like standing in the they can stand in the middle of a ring of fire, but they won't actually like get caught ablaze. Uh, so i equals uh, zero i less than uh, uh, max, uh, collect, and this is not, there's no penalty for this one, uh, that's irrelevant, but thank you, let it, man, <laughs> um, death, death is a, uh, death, death is a, um, narrative element, it's not a gameplay element, so, it, it it has nothing to do with difficulty because uh, it's 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 just it's strictly narrative. It's just uh, you can make a game hard and and say you die, or you can make a game hard and say you don't die, or you can make a game easy and say you die, and you can make a game easy and say you don't die. And either way, it's it's strictly narrative. And I don't even have necessarily a problem with death in games, but like I just don't want to make a mechanic where people can exploit it to. I don't know. I, I don't even feel the need to explain myself, so, uh, if you have questions on the topic, let me know, otherwise, uh, I'm just gonna continue on. 
So, uh, yeah, so for the uncollected ones, there's not going to be any penalty for them not catching on fire. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, we'll just straight up destroy the fire. Uh, oh yeah, I'll have to, right, so, uh, yeah, do, basically do this thing again. Uh, except, uh, now we're using, uh, oh yeah, so right, so, so actually, uh, before we do that, uh, so if, uh, if, uh, collect, uh, I, uh, not equal null, um, then, yeah, we do this, except instead of doing it for, uh, transform position, we do it, uh, for collect I dot transform dot position. Uh, Oh, uh, I guess PCDI, because, uh, we already declared PCD. Uh, yeah. Did I update all of them correctly? Good. Uh, all right, so, uh, Oh yeah, no, and this one does not actually cost energy, because that's just that's just tidying up. And then uh, yeah, finally we will do uh, for uh, for max uh, max drain, and this one will cost energy. Uh, uh, so yeah, so again, train I, <clears throat> train I, and I guess actually in these situations we could always just use train length, because uh, train length is the length that we actually care about for this for this particular uh, situation. I think so. Uh, and if we get an error there, it's probably because of faulty logic, not because of, uh, not because of, uh, this. Uh, so, right, so yeah, so now train, uh, train I, transform position, etc., etc. Doodly doodly do. Think that the, and yeah, I think the rest is, oh yeah, except, uh, energy cost. Bring back the energy cost. Alright, cool. I think, uh, I think that should probably be good. Save that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think that should be good. Doop a doop, doop doop doop. Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly something went am or miss. Or or I. Uh Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait, what? Fire grid. What? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? What went out of range? You said out of range, right? No, it's in range. You're just being weird. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, I guess it could be out of range. For, uh, for collect, it actually could be out of range. And actually, I bet if we look at the map, we'll find that one of them is, like, overhanging in edge. Yeah, look at that. That dude, totally out of range. Alright, so yeah, for, for collect, we actually have to check if they're in range. Because if they're out of range, they're not going to get caught on fire anyways. Uh, alright, so, uh, so... Oh, yeah. Alright, so, collect, uh, alright, so... <laughs> If, um, if, I don't know which of those values went out of range, but, uh, so, okay, so if, um, <clears throat> a boss sprite? Yeah, pretty much everything in Unity is a game object. Uh, the sprite? Uh, if you're talking about, like, the... 
Oh, I don't know much about 2D. Like, even when I do, like, quote-unquote 2D stuff, I actually just put a texture on a quad, and I just do the whole thing in 3D. So I don't know what a sprite is exactly. To me, a, to me, a sprite would be a, um, a quad, in which case it would be a game object, but I don't know, maybe there's another way to, to accomplish that. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, all right, so, uh, yeah, so, wow, all right, so, yeah, let's look at how, uh, positive chunk chords is, is, uh, calculated. Uh, go to declaration. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna get weird, uh, yeah, we're not going to get weird uh, values for RT0 or RT1. I'm pretty sure it's RT2 and RT3 that are getting the weird numbers. So I'll only check RT2 and RT3 for now and see if that works. Uh, so we'll say... Uh, oh, actually, I guess this could be relevant to the train as well, because the train hypothetically could extend outward to chunks that have since been destroyed. So I'll say... Uh, Alright, so yeah, I guess I do have to check for both of these things. Um, if, uh, PCDI, PCDI2 is greater than or equal to, greater than or equal to zero, and, uh, PCDI2, wait, why is there an open brace? Uh, Alright, PCDI2 is uh, greater than or equal to zero, and PCDI2 is less than uh, chunk diameter, or chunk radius, uh, and uh, PCDI3 is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, T Blade 10, hey, how's it going? Um, we're making, there's a kind of a, I don't know if you can read it, there's kind of a description in the corner of the game that we're making, although, I don't know, it's been a while. I, I'm, 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 uh, I'm fixing something here, and then we'll go right over to, to check out what we have so far of the game. Uh, it's a, we've been jamming for a few days now, um, so it's not, like, a, it's not a major project, it's, like, it's, like, a fun little project. I think we probably have, like, a total of, uh, maybe, like, 15 hours in it so far, um, so... Uh, yeah, I, I can show you exactly how it all works in just a moment, uh, and hopefully it will work in just a moment. I accidentally broke something, and so I'm, uh, I'm fixing that up now. Uh, PCDI 3 uh, is uh, greater, no, less than, less than, yeah, uh, less than uh, chunk radius. Uh, so we'll do that here, and uh, let's also do that for the train, just in case. Uh, here, right? Uh, all right, so let's see if this works. Hopefully this works. That's kind of a fun bug that we got. On, we we kind of got lucky with that bug on our first try. All right, so this is supposed to be like a roguelike, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So, um... Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, we're working in C-sharp, which, uh, so I kind of went the opposite way. Uh, I went, I learned C-sharp, or I, well, no, I, I don't know. Okay, so I learned C++, and then uh, I never actually learned C-sharp. I just started working in C-sharp, and it, like, it was easy enough to intuit just from, uh, from having worked in, uh, you know, just from that, from having some knowledge of C++. So, um, yeah, I'm guessing a lot of what we cover here will probably be applicable to uh, to you. I don't call myself a programmer, although that's, alright, so I'm guessing stream delay hasn't caught up with you yet, but, uh, by the time stream delay catches up to you, you'll probably realize that, like I just said, they're basically the same thing, so, alright, um, I mean, they're not the same thing, but, like, saying you, like, if you, if you can speak one, you can speak the other, and by speak, I mean, right, I actually, yeah, anyways, uh, so, right, so, yeah, so right now we have, uh, a game, like, where you venture out into a lava field to rescue dudes, kind of, basically, and, uh, that's basically all we have so far. Uh, oh, there's an energy meter at the bottom of the screen, and so it's set to a gratuitously large number at this point, but, um, but, uh, it's actually going to be, uh, a much more reasonable number for the, for the sake of the game, and, uh, 
uh, you you actually so that that what that number represents is uh, is like your energy cost, and we're like we're avoiding fire and we're staying on the uh, on the ash, so we're uh, we're not using much energy actually, relatively speaking. I mean we actually are using a lot, but uh, hold on, I'm gonna cheat and look at the map. Uh, oh no, uh, we're uh, all right. So I should go this way. Uh, but if you, yeah, if you, so we just cut across, um, we just, like, cut across the, uh, the lava and, uh, or the, uh, like, the molten rock, the slightly molten rock, and, uh, so that costs more energy. Also, we can fight fires, like, we can, uh, we can actually, like, get rid of fire. Oh, hey, there's a dude. Um, but it, um, it's dangerous because when, when you're fighting fire, you, it costs more energy, too. Not necessarily just to fight the fire, but if, like, if the fire surrounds you and it like spreads at you, then you you, you tend to go through energy pretty fast. Uh, like I'm sure we're losing a lot of energy just because we're in the middle of this place. Oh god, we should get out! Run, run, guys, run! Oh no, it's all around us! Uh, um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's what we have working so far. Uh, well, actually, I guess there is one other thing that if you um, oh yeah, so you can kind of see like the world is only like this little map that's like around us at any given time, like. The world is actually not very big, uh, and it's, like, procedurally generated, so as you travel through it, it, um, it just kind of, like, gets constructed on the fly, but, um, but, uh, hypothetically, if you could run out of energy, like, it's not gonna happen to us anytime soon, just because, uh, of how much freaking energy we have, but, um, hypothetically, if we could run out of energy, then we would, then we would warp back to town, and we get to start over, um, I guess we're actually, yeah, we can lose energy pretty fast if we, if we stay and, like, and fight fire, uh, but I won't, I won't bother actually, like, getting it to go all the way down to zero. Although, I don't know, we're actually kind of, no, I'm, I'm just doing it out of grim fascination at this point, of, to see, like, how fast I can lose energy, that's, like, the main reason that I'm, uh, oops, that was, shouldn't have done that, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to see how fast we can lose energy at this point. I think we can lose it pretty fast, right? Uh, oh, no, actually, no. It, oh, it's actually advantageous to stack up on... To huddle up. <laughs> so, sorry, yeah. Um, oh, we did it. We Wow, we got to negative six somehow. All right, well, <laughs> I should probably fix that so that you don't actually uh, get below uh, zero. But, uh... Oh, is it not going to warp because we're at negative six instead of at zero? That'd be funny. Oh no, the game just freeze. What the heck is going on? What the heck? Why is it frozen? Does Do we only warp if it's, uh... Uh... Alright, well, okay, so I guess, I guess, uh... When we're spreading fire, we should probably correct, uh... Correct the score after, after we do all that stuff. Alright, so yeah, if, uh... If uh, turns uh, is less than less than zero, uh, then turns equals zero. Uh, turns equals zero. All right, thanks, Blade. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> uh, so. Oh yeah, I'm 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 a super hacker. Or oh, wait, no. Who are you talking? Who's, who's a, who did you say is a hacker, Jeff? Jefferson, Jefferson Arango, one, uh, <laughs> that, Regathian, you're killing it today. Um, all right, so that was fun, draining uh, all of the energy. At this point, we could probably start working on stuff like, um, like, a like, ramp and stuff. Oh, yeah, so, uh, power-ups. Yeah, that's, so, so ramp and, and power, I guess, are the, are the important ones. Um, power might be a relative sort of thing, maybe. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, if you're talking about me, then thank you very much, uh, Jefferson and Ringo. I, uh, I appreciate that. I, uh... Yeah, no, I'll take that. I'll take the compliment, I guess. 
I don't always feel smart, but I guess uh, that's part of how you get smart, is you put yourself in situations where you don't necessarily feel smart, right? Uh, not to imply that I am smart, but I am uh, just to imply that, or just to say that I appreciate the compliment. Um, I, uh, alright, so yeah, I, the next thing I'll do is to start setting up, um, the ramp of the game. So, like, the, I'll get, we'll do realistic energy values, we'll do, uh, increasing energy values so that as you play through the game, uh, you, uh, you, uh, as you play through the game, you, you get, you get more and more energy and you can adventure further and further. And then, uh, and then we'll put in, um, advanced firefighting techniques and then I think uh, once we do that I think the last thing we have after that is city building so we might actually finish this game today uh, before I get to that stuff though I'm just going to take a very quick <laughs> thank you Jefferson <laughs> um, I'm just gonna take a super quick break I'm gonna um, I was I was sick last week and so I'm trying to I'm trying very hard to stay properly hydrated um, and in order to do that I just have to uh, I just have to refill my water bottle real fast, but I'll be right back. It won't take very long at all, I promise you. I am... I'll be back. Uh, all right. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, the puppy. Oh no, puppy, watch out! Ah. <laughs> run, puppy, run. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, puppies. <laughs> um. All right. So um. Yeah, we were saying we're going to what? Oh, yeah, so energy. Uh, yeah, let's try and do something with energy now. Um, what should we do with energy? Uh, right, okay, wait, no, I have, I have, I have a rough idea about this. Um, so, uh, what, uh, Right, yeah, right, so, <laughs> sorry, um, so, uh, energy, let's say, uh, so, flow, or, uh, int, uh, growth, growth, uh, equals, uh, <laughs> yeah, you definitely made my day if you